What is going on YouTube? You're watching Next Gen Speed. Today we got an exciting video about to put a big part on the C8 Corvette, which is the C7 carbon, carbon fiber, high wing spoiler that we got right here. So this is made of the full carbon fiber, actually full carbon fiber top layer, but beautiful exposed carbon and like gloss finish as you see right here. And this will tie in with the carbon fiber 5EM front spoiler that we just put on recently, make it all match. And definitely make the C8 customized to make a mountain car, you know? Just to make it a little different from everybody else's, but we're gonna install this today. And first part we're gonna do is actually assembling the high wing spoiler, which is a bit different from the GM OEM style one because if you order the GM one, it will come already assembled. But if you order the aftermarket style, like this C7 carbon one, you will have to assemble it first. So we're gonna pull all these pieces together, get all the bolts in, and get it all set up, ready to go to put it on the car. So to start off with this, we're gonna put the stands on first. We're gonna start with the outer edges first, so the big one that you see right here. And to do these ones, you're first going to want to get two of the spring washers that are included in the kit. Get that ready to go. Then you want to get the four and a half inch bolts that are included with it. Which are these two right here. And then first off, we're going to slide the bolt through, put the spring on, and then get it mounted onto the spoiler. Alright guys, to get the main actual stanchions on, we're going to get these bolts with these uh, washers. First thing you want to do is attach the washer to the bolts. You want to feed it through. Get your ratchet and then place it on the spoiler. Just gotta line up the pins first, hold it in place, and then we're gonna tighten the bolts. That one's good so far. Now I've got this side. All right, got the pieces on so far. Looking nice, guys. Everything's nice and snug, no gaps, nothing like that. This is looking pretty good quality so far, guys. All right, the next pieces we got are the middle stand pieces. Now to get these installed, you wanna get the five and a half inch bolts that we got right here. Middle smallest bolts, so I'm gonna get those. I'm gonna feed the bolt through. Line this one up first. Just to make sure each side is correct. Looking good so far, so. And tighten this bolt first. Recommend to hand tighten that first, just to make sure you don't strip anything. Just to make sure it's guided correctly. So I'm gonna start one side, just to make sure it doesn't flop out. Get stripped. So. And some people might want to use an impact wrench for these, but I do not recommend that because if you do, it might strip the actual bolt. So I recommend you use a regular ratchet, keep it nice and snug. It should be perfect just like that. That one's nice and snug. Now we just got this side to do. All right, these pieces are on, looking good so far. And now we just got the wingless to put on. And now you guys might be wondering what the hell these bolts are for right here. Got these little plastic insert pieces and two extra bolts. These will actually be used to put the actual spoiler onto the vehicle. So the fun part of this video and the fun part of this install is actually putting it onto the car and that requires removing the rear bumper. So you gotta pull the car in, take the whole rear bumper off, take the old spoiler off, then put this new one on. So let's get into that. But first, let's get these winglets on first. You just wanna get these four bolts that are included, the black ones. You wanna pick the side that it's used for. right on that side so first thing we're gonna do just add some extra protection keep it nice and secure we're gonna clean these areas with the spots where the bolts are and add some double-sided tape onto that all right so we got our alcohol prep head right here got our 3m double-sided adhesive tape we're gonna take the alcohol prep pad just clean up this area make sure there's no wax or dirt or any grime on there nothing like that i'm just gonna let that evaporate for a second i'm just gonna take my double-sided tape i'm gonna cut about three rectangles for each section Make it nice and easy. And this step is not required, but definitely does give you peace of mind to make sure that these winglets will not come off at all. I mean, the bolts obviously will help. Make sure it will not come off. This will definitely add an extra protection layer. And it'll also add a little pass and there's no flexing or any vibrating going on once you're driving and at high speed. So I do recommend you do this if you do have this spoiler. And this tape will also allow you to put the actual winglets on, keep it in place to put the bolts on. They won't end up falling off or anything like that. So I'm gonna take the tape off. 
could add some heat if you like, just to keep it nice and heated up, but not required. I'm gonna go to the edge of the spoiler, line it up first. I'm gonna go from this top edge first, down to the edge. Make sure all the bolt holes are lined up as well. Looking good like that. So you just wanna grab your two bolts, guide them in first with your hands, and then you just wanna tighten them up nice and snug. I like to do one side about halfway, do the other side about halfway, then go from there to kind of get each side to fit in snugly to make sure it's nice and flush. And that side is good to go, guys. So just repeat the same steps on the other side and get the other winglet on. are in all the stands are in so now it's officially time to put it on the car so i'm gonna pull the corvette in and get this fully installed guys and there is the beauty a little dirty right now but she's looking beautiful especially with that 5 bm carbon fiber front splitter right there wing is gonna match that nicely but it's a little cold start for you guys this car guys it's got the C8 in the shop looking absolutely fantastic so now to get this spoiler on, we gotta remove this spoiler right here, which is the Z51 spoiler. So to get this boy off, you gotta take this whole rear bumper off. Whole piece has to come off as one piece. And pretty much to do that, you gotta remove all the bolts on the inside, the fender well, under it, and all the way around it. So we're gonna get started on that first. First thing we're gonna do, you get these bolts off from the side near the fender mud flaps, then go from there. All right, so first piece we're gonna do is take all these mud flaps right here. Just kind of get an interior pride seal and kind of just pop it off at the cell bin by just taps. So we're gonna go in the back end, just pop these off real quick. Now it is easier if you take the wheels off, but we're gonna try to avoid that. So I do not want to jack up the car if I don't have to. Oh, got one bolt at the bottom holding it. Pop that off real quick. All right, so that side is out. So repeat the same process, do the same thing on the other side. So the next thing we're gonna do is pop the back trunk, get to the bolts there. Pop the trunk real quick. Open we'll the hatch. And remove all these torque bits right here along the edge. Got this side all loosened up. This side's pretty much ready to go. All the bolts on this side are out. All the bolts on the underside are out. All the clips as well. As you can see, the side is ready to come out just like that. So getting the bolts on that side out and we should be good to go from there. All right, let's try to get this boy. Let's pull it up and get all the, the harnesses off to make sure the buffer slides right now. So, so. Way more news 
if I put it face down, I think the tail lights up real quick. And I'll get these tail lights off. We had about like five centimeter bolts on each side. Gotta pop those off real quick. Third brake light is out. It's got the tail lights out, third brake light out. Now it's time to take the actual Z51 spoiler out. Should be 10 millimeter bolts. Yeah. Now that all the bolts are out, the spoiler's ready to be taken out. Pretty much just comes right off, if I'm not mistaken. And there she is, guys. Z51 spoiler fishy off. Not available for sale. Hit me up. All right, all bolts are removed. Got nice and cleaned up. So now it's time to put the actual wing on the car. She's in so far. two main bolts to actually hold the spoiler onto the bumper so just gotta slide those in and just so you guys know c7 carbon actually includes these for the spoiler to actually install them inside the bumper cover and if you use these you will not be able to use the washers for them and you'll not be able to use the taillights as well to install them exactly how they're supposed to so don't recommend using these we did not use them i don't know i'm not sure why they included these with them but make it much easier if you don't use these fishy on a bitch to do. C7 Carbon has some great products, but to get everything lined up correctly, a little bitch to do, especially assembling the actual spoiler itself. But officially on the bumper, now it's ready to put the bumper back onto the car. So let's get it. Uh, taillights. taillights and oh. third brake light. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Unless you want to drive without those. <laughs> <laughs> you might get a ticket or two. You got the three clips. with the splitter on it mm -hmm. oh looking nice guys officially installed got it on there it took about four hours but looking good shout out to my man amir for helping me thanks for coming through shout out to adam for supervising yeah. you know <laughs> shout out to you for helping getting parts no and problem. stuff and shout out to my boy nick so if you enjoyed the video please like subscribe for more and i will see you guys next time